we are painting 10 different flower related scenes using 10 creative ideas this is the second painting in the series here is an easy way to sketch the lily and lily pads step one is to draw the outline step two is to add some petals at the center step three is to add few more petals step four is to add second round of petals step five is to add lily pad step six is to add another lily pad after drawing the lily let us wet the paper and also be ready with the pigment that is needed for painting the background initially i mixed an equal amount of vermilion woodian green and ultramarine so when we mix red blue and green in equal amount we are going to get gray using that gray i am painting the background after painting the lily pads i found that the gray is not interesting so i added more vidian green to the gray and made it little more green color i painted the second round of background using the gray mixed with vidian green hence i painted the background twice you can paint the background in one single go that is by mixing vermilion red uh, with ultramarine blue and with more amount of verdian green you get a grayish green color which is apt for this painting you can see how the grayish background looks after finishing the first round of painting the background next i start to paint the lily pad using sap green mixed with a little amount of brown color This is the second round of background that I mentioned earlier. For this second round, I'm using gray color mixed with Vidian green. As I said earlier, you can finish the background in one single go. That is by mixing red, blue and more amount of green, you can get this greenish gray background i used a wet on dry technique to paint the second round of the background i found that the color didn't spread evenly so using a spray bottle i sprayed clean water over the pigment so that it spread evenly in all sides i tilted the board so that the excess water that is on the paper is collected near the tape and I remove the excess water using a waste cloth. After that, I allow the paper to dry completely. When the paper is completely dry, lift the color around the lily pad as in the reference photo. The reference photo is available in the description. It is a link to the Pinterest. For the lifting technique, that is to lift any color from a watercolor paper, you have to use a clean damp brush. After picking the color from the paper, you have to rinse the brush in the water and again you have to make it damp 
using a cloth or a tissue Please note that I am not using any white color to paint around the lily pad, just I am lifting the colors using my damp brush. Again here I am using lifting technique over the lily pads. I am adding grey color to the edges of the lily pad. While I was spraying the water, some of the pigment flowed into the lily flower and it got dried. Now I am picking those color using my damp brush. After that I paint the lily using opera rose. I use the reference picture to guide me through the painting process of uh, lily to know where the shadow has to be added for each and every petals. I used magenta color to paint the uh, shadow part of the petals. This video is in 6x speed so that the video can be shrinked into small size of 10 minutes video actually the painting took more than 15 minutes this whole painting was like a meditative process you have to use the reference picture to understand better where the shadow has to be given and where the highlight should be left so again I am repeating the reference picture is available in the description. It is the link to the Pinterest. There is download image option for every pin. So you can download the image and use it as a reference for your painting. Using yellow and orange color, I paint the stamens of the lily. After painting water lily, we are painting the reflection of lily on the water. I used magenta color to paint the reflection of the lily. Hope this video is useful. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you in another flower painting video. Until then, take care and it's me Prema signing off.